Hi, today I wanted to talk about the time capsule. Apple killed this product off about a year ago now, maybe even more than that, but mine just recently uh, pooped the bed and I needed alternatives to back up all my Mac devices in the house. I have an iMac, uh, a MacBook Air, and my girlfriend has a MacBook Pro. Uh, prior to this, we were all backing up to the time capsule and it was great. So uh, I figured, hey, if the time capsule died, it must just be, you know, the hard drive that was inside. We tried replacing the hard drive, still no go. Uh, for whatever reason, it's not detecting the disks. Uh, and then doing a little bit of digging, I found that there's actually a great alternative to it. Uh, even though Apple killed the product, uh, they made it pretty simple to make your own time capsule. So all you need is a uh, large hard drive, whether it be a terabyte, two terabyte. Uh, you can even go for something smaller like a, maybe a 500 gig or a 250, depending on how many devices you need uh, backing up. And you can literally connect your hard drive to your computer and turn that into a time capsule and anyone on that network as long as they have a user and password to log in they can connect and back up wirelessly just like they did before with the time capsule and it's, it's a great solution because you can get a two terabyte hard drive for you know under a hundred bucks now on on amazon but let's walk through the process and i'll show you guys how it's done so essentially we go into system preferences uh, let's go into sharing. Uh, at this point, you want to make sure you have your uh, hard drive plugged in. Uh, once you've got it plugged in, all right, you can uh, create a folder. So uh, over here, you can see I have it mounted on my desktop. It's a USB drive. And I've got a folder in there that I created and named Time Capsule. All right. From here, uh, in sharing under System Preferences, you want to add that folder. Right click on the folder and go into advanced options from advanced options share as a time machine backup destination All right now that that's there your uh, hard drive will be recognized on the network by other Macs as a time machine available device you can limit the backups uh, for instance if you only want to dedicate let's say 500 gigs of this hard drive uh, to uh, time time machine backups uh, in my case, I don't do that because I want the full capacity of the drive, all right? And you can either allow or disallow guest users. And from Time Capsule, you can also choose which users you want backing up to this. Read and write access is available to Nicole and MKNet. All right, so this Mac here uh, does not have Time Machine configured. Let's go ahead and go through the process together, and see what it looks like. Open up Time Machine Preferences and we'll choose select backup disk. Okay, since my Mac uh, book error and my iMac that actually has the time machine hard drive connected to it are on the same network, it'll automatically show up here. All right, so I can go ahead and click use disk. So I have to connect. And now it'll ask for a password. So I have a registered user on that iMac which I'll just enter the password for here. All right, the connection was successful. At this point, I can go ahead and click back up now. Simple as that, it's a pretty straightforward solution. Uh, I think it's an excellent solution. You don't have to shell out hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you know, for, uh, uh, a time capsule uh, they, those things were not cheap especially if you wanted the larger storage solutions I think that Apple made uh, a good step and a good decision in uh, rolling out this uh, piece of software all right thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time